Hey y'all, it's Zach with another episode of the Volunteer Slate. Now, if you watched my last video on parlays, you saw the insane payouts that you can get when you stack bets together. Today we're going to talk about round robins. It's sort of a specific type of parlay bet that you can use when you're maybe not so confident about one of the picks in your parlay. Uh, your payout odds do go down, but your risk goes down considerably. So, we're going to open up DraftKings and put together a five-team college football parlay for us to work with. Uh, so first off, let's pick our five bets. Uh, coming through, I'm going to keep it mostly SEC. Tennessee minus six against Kentucky. We're going to bounce back after our performance uh, against Georgia last week. I'm sure of it. Um, the second half was rough, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, Auburn minus three and a half against South Carolina. Uh, South Carolina coming off that big win against Vandy, uh, but I think they'll get brought down to earth against a much better opponent in Auburn. Um, find these games. Florida by 13 over LSU. LSU just dropped to Missouri. I don't know that they've got the stuff to bounce back, so I'm gonna put that there in the parlay. Um, We'll take Ole Miss to keep rolling over Arkansas at minus three. That's not much of a line. I think they'll be able to cover that. And uh, let's let's do the over-under in the, uh, the Georgia-Bama game. Um, now, Bama didn't show much defense, but I think they'll, uh, they'll step it up for, uh, for Georgia. And I'm actually going to play the under at 57 in that Georgia-Alabama game. So if we look in here... Our odds are plus 24.42, which means a $10 bet on this five-team parlay would pay out uh, $254.19. But if any one of these loses, we lose our whole $10 and we don't win anything. So if we go up to the top of our parlay slip here and go to round robins instead, we see that we get all these new options, singles, two pick round robins, three pick round robins, four pick round robins, the parlay, and Canadian. Um, so going through what that is, singles is exactly what it sounds like it is. You put, put your parlay together and you're just going to bet each one of these games individually. So you would, if you still wanted to risk the $2, uh, the $10 originally that you were going to bet on the parlay, you would place two, uh, five $2 bets. So you're still risking only $10, but you're betting on each game independently. So the max payout for that is only $19.10. You lose a lot of your odds that way because you're not stacking anything. Next, we've got a two-pick round robin. That's every possible two-team combination out of your five-team parlay. Because we've got five teams, there are 10 different two-pick combinations to go with. So we'll do a dollar per on that. Now that, we've got lots of different bets that we can win and our potential payout is 36.48. So almost double what we were uh, going to potentially win betting each game singly, but uh, we now have a little bit more upside on our parlay. The three pick round robin is the same thing, but doing three team combinations. So every possible three team combination of these five games, that also adds up to 10 potential choices and a dollar each. But now our potential payout is $69.68. As you can see, the, the more that we stack these bets, the more that our payouts are. Um, but if one or even two of these teams loses, you won't lose your entire investment. You can actually still make some money depending on which ones it is and what the odds are on the individual bets. Um, if we clear that out, the four pick round robin is every possible four team combination from this five team parlay. So if we bet $2 on that, on five different parlays, our potential payout goes up to $133.09. It's about half as good as it was on the full parlay at $10. But if one of the teams loses, we're still probably going to profit. Whereas with the parlay, you get that double potential for award, but if even one team loses, you lose your whole bet. And then we get to Canadian. Um, a Canadian round robin is specific to five team parlay bets. And basically it is 
all of these in unison. So it's 26 individual bets. That's all the games of singles. That's all the two team parlays. That's all the three team parlays. That's the four pick round robin and the uh, uh, Canadian wager, uh, the full parlay bet. So on a Canadian wager, uh, to get that to still be $10, we need to bet um, about 40 cents. That's a little bit more. It's $10 and 40 cents. Our potential payout is $79 and 25 cents. Um, so the Canadian is playing all the angles all at the same time. Um, if this was a six team parlay, let's go ahead and add one so you can see what I'm talking about. If this was a six team parlay, we'll add in the Texas A&M over Mississippi State. That air raid is weak in my opinion. Now we've got a new option called Heinz. Heinz is essentially the same as the Canadian bet, but it's as you can see, uh, now 57 separate bets. That's why they get the Heinz name from. It's 57 varieties of the same 16 parlay. So if we wanted to still stick with our $10, um, now we're betting $11.40. 57 doesn't divide up into 10 so well. Our potential payout's $118. Uh, certainly not as much as if we just play the straight parlay. Um, at 47.55, we're gonna have much, much, much big, bigger payouts just playing the parlay. Um, let's, that, yeah, $485.51 to just play the parlay. So, if you have a group of games that you want to bet, but uh, maybe you don't want to stack it all on all of them coming up your way, round robins are a way to do that. You still get some of the reward of stacking your bets, but not all of the risk of playing them all in one parlay. A little bit complicated, a little bit long-winded. I hope you stuck with me, but this is a very useful tool that you can use to sort of hedge your bets and come out winning more in the long run. Thanks, this has been the Volunteer Slate. See you next time.